Today we're going to be talking about choosing the correct bar for whatever you're doing in the gym. All of my bars are from Goliath because I want to have the best powerlifting equipment possible. Here we go. This is a Goliath power bar. Most of the bars at your gym will have the weight of the bar on the end of them. So if you want to know how heavy bar is, you can check the end. This power bar is probably, if you're only going to have one powerlifting bar, this is what you would go with. It's very rigid, it doesn't bend a whole lot. It has knurling, which is the grippy stuff, on the outside and in the middle. In some powerlifting federations, they use this same bar for all three lifts. So that kind of tells you what you need to know about um, how diverse, I guess, this bar is. This is a Goliath deadlift bar, and there's a few differences between the deadlift bar and a standard bar. Firstly, there's no knurling in the middle, and that's so that the bar can slide up and down your thighs with ease. It's also a little bit thinner, a little bit narrower than other bars, so that you can grip it tighter, whether you do mixed grip or you do hook grip, you can wrap your fingers around it that little bit further. But the greatest advantage of a deadlift bar is that it bends quite a lot if you're lifting a lot of weight, and here is why that's important. The hardest part of the deadlift is as the weights are leaving the floor, especially if you have bumper plates on the floor. The bumper plates might cover this much space on each side. If the bar flexes, the inside of the bumper plates will lift first, so you're only lifting like 60% of the weight off the floor, and then as it all lifts off the ground, you're lifting the full weight. This Ollie lifting bar, this one's 15 kilos. I'm not going to pretend that I know anything about ollie lifting bars, but it's handy as a PT to have a lighter bar in the gym that's also narrower. And then here we've just got like some general use, just some cheap accessory bars. So this is just a straight bar, you might use this for curls or something, uh, or overhead press. This is an easy bar, which I use for a thousand things like skull crushes, bicep curls, because curls kill the girls. I can say that's not true, I've done a lot of curls in my life, but I'm happy with like, women. And then at the very top here, I've got a 10 kilo bar, which I would use for like children, or again, you can use it for accessories if you're kind of running out of bars there. This is a hex bar or a trap bar. I really like these for beginners because one, it's less range, your hands are up higher, um, but it kind of just forces you into the correct deadlift position. So when you take it away and you put someone on a barbell, they kind of just, again, fall into the right position for a deadlift. And lastly, we have the Goliath squat bar. Now this is a 25 kilo bar. This is used in the federation that I compete in. A few differences here. It is longer, including the loading space on either side. It's extremely rigid. It has almost no flex to it whatsoever. And it has knurling all the way to the middle. So the middle of your back can really grip that bar. Oh, and also it's thicker. 